your boy Chris, aka Money Mitch, back with another episode of Money Mitch Show. Did you miss me? Because I miss you. <laughs> what is up, y'all? It's Monday, which means what? Military Mondays. Military Mondays. Hey. All right. Before I even get into today's video, before I get into today's video, and one more time, before I get into today's video, I'm gonna need y'all to do hit that sh hit that subscribe button down below, hit that like and that share button. Share this video to your mama, daddy, sister, uncle, cousin, whoever. Let them know they be fine. Your boy, me, the latest one in YouTube land. <laughs> what is up, y'all? What is up? So as you can tell by this title, I am going to tell y'all how it feels to be in the military slash the Navy. So let me give you a little background on how I came up with this topic. Because I've seen this topic, someone asked this recently on one of my older videos. I think it was a video for like almost two years ago. Someone asked me, like, hey, how does it feel to be in the military? And I was like, going to type back and reply, and I was like, you know what? I can do one better and I can just make a video. So thank you to that person. I should have worked your name down, but I didn't. Thank you for commenting on that question. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to answer it for you guys. So first things first, before I even say how it feels to be in the military, let me first off by saying, start by saying this. Um, the Navy itself has afforded me many opportunities and I am forever grateful for everything I was able to accomplish in the military. I'm not getting out or nothing like that. But what I'm saying is that um, without the military and the Navy, I wouldn't have, have been where I am today. Because the Navy took me from straight out of high school and groomed me to be an adult because I went to gear after high school. But anyway, so it took me right out of high school and it, uh, it matured me because I was very immature, I was very wild, I was doing what I wanted to do. And it took a lot of hard times in the military, in the Navy, for me to grow up and mature to the level that I am today. So I just want to say that before I say anything about how it feels to be in the military. So, with that being said, let me give y'all a little T T T T T. All right. So how it feels to be in the military is that it feels like a normal job to me. Like I don't know how else to explain it. Most people will let this be their lives and will be engulfed by the military and the Navy, but I made a point when I joined, not when I was actually when I joined, but like a year or two after being in, I was like, I would not let the Navy be my entire life. It is a job and it's not my life. It is a career, it is not my life. So when I, personally with me, when I say I took off my uniform, I'm no longer 82, people are like, no, you're a sailor 24 seven, da 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 da, 365, nah. Nah, none of this household. No, y'all can do that. Y'all can go be kept safe at home, be safe all the time. I'm gonna be 82 on my uniform, and then I'm gonna be Mitchum when I'm at home. I mean, Chris when I'm at home. So, yeah. So, I guess how it feels to be in the military is that one thing I didn't know before I joined the military was that the military itself is very political. Um, it is very strategic, and the people that are above you are assholes. Not all the time. But uh, it is very much politics and it is very tricky. And if you don't play your hand correctly, you will get uh, screwed over basically. So, for example, like being in the military, you're only allowed to say so much about how you feel personally about certain topics. And um, before you're like, in that gray area. For example, like I used to always make my military Monday videos in my uniform, but I kinda got a little travel because I stated some personal political views, I guess you can say, while in my uniform. And that, of course, I now know is a no-no. So um, it definitely makes, it limits what you're allowed to say on your social media platforms while in uniform, even like out in town, like if I leave work and I can't go to a protest in my uniform. So I guess one of what I'm trying to say how it feels with the military sometimes, it can be very uh restrictive. Like you're very much in a box. You're in a box as far as like not that many people understand the job that you do, and not that many people understand the things you do the way you do them, and you're very much controlled on what you're allowed to say. A lot of people make fake accounts and say whatever they want to say about the military. But I'm pretty much black and white. I am very transparent. I will say how I feel about it, but I will not never bash it because if without it, I would not be where I'm at today. 
And so, yeah. So, it can be quite restrictive, but it's not, that's probably like the only con I can really think is how restrictive and how political it is because I did not know this. Let me tell you this how something there is definitely Democrats, okay? And there are Republicans, and then there's your liberals, and then there's your just your whatevers. And the military. <laughs> so uh that's definitely one of the things. Um another how it feels, I mean some positive. The military itself and the navy, how it feels about the military, it feels like you, you are in a an elite exclusive family. When I say elite and exclusive because not everyone can join the military. Now you want to join the military and it's exclusive because it's hard to get in. Like once I mean it's kinda hard, but it's kinda it's not hard, but it's something that everyone would do. And when I say as a family, it's because these people that I have met over the years while in the military have become my family. They're more family to me than my actual family is. And that's no shade or anything towards my family. It's just that these people I've been on deployment with, I've been stuck out in the middle of the ocean, sucking ass because it's hot humid you're working all the time i work 12 on 12 off of these people for six seven months at a time i have endured the worst suck possible with these people i went to boot camp with some of them that i'm still friends with to this day and we went to boot camp together and with that boot camp y'all it wasn't that bad but it would have some sucky moments okay so to be able to still be friends with them is a uh privilege and honor that i cherish very deeply so I say that the military is like a family because you guys are always constantly together. Even when like I'm outside of work, I hang out with them. So it's a very close knit like family. Now if you're even overseas, it's very much a close knit family. Uh, that's something positive, but I don't know. Like I'm trying to really answer this question, like how it feels in the military. It doesn't feel any different for me personally than a regular job. I said that earlier in the video, but. Um, some people take this way seriously, they're more, way more serious than what it has to be, like, I will always respect and honor those who come before me and sacrifice their lives for a better tomorrow, but, uh, I don't take the military or the Navy as seriously as I probably should, like, I'm not saying I'm gonna hit cracking jokes or whatever, but because it can be so depressing and so, uh, overwhelming for some, I try to line it up by making jokes, by having fun, by just, you know, doing things that most people wouldn't do because I just feel like it's so tense all the time. Especially now with the things that are going on in overseas in Ukraine. I listen, to all of us is all pins and needles because they are like, everybody's like, oh, you're going to go to war. And I'm like, child, listen, I don't know. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. First of all, I'm on shore duty. And if y'all try to put me back to sea duty for this, I'm going to be mad as hell. But uh, <laughs> that's a whole other thing. Let me stop getting in trouble again. But uh, to answer the question again, how it feels to be in the military, it doesn't feel anything different. It's just a job to me at the end of the day. For some, it may be more. For others, it may be less. But for me, it's a job. It's a career. It's something that I do enjoy doing. While I'm doing it, um, it has its pros and its cons, it has its ups and its downs, like anything else you do in life. But how it feels to be in the military, it sucks, it's awful, it's shitty. But on the flip side, it is one of the most thrilling, funny, uh, loving experiences I've ever had in my life. And so that's what it feels like, to be honest. It gives you all these emotions and feelings, but yet, I probably wouldn't trade this experience for anything else in the world. So, that's all I really got for that topic, uh, for that question. I appreciate it. You guys, make sure you keep commenting more questions down below. And I'm going to answer them in videos or just reply back to them as quickly as I can. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching this Military Monday video. You know what I'm saying? And thank y'all and goodbye. <laughs>